my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a DIY cell making polish. I've started off with sinful colors just to clear and it's missing like a very little bit at the top. There's the line kind of where my thumb was at. I'll be using the Nourishing Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Serum. This is for hair. So I'm going to squirt a couple of squirts down into the bottle and a little on the outside of the bottle so we'll have to clean that up. <laughs> mess maker and then we're going to put the lid on it and I am going to run it through my shaker if you don't have a shaker just shake it up really well it's going to be bubbly and cloudy but you let it sit for a day and it'll all chill out and you'll be able to play with it so I'm using a kind of a tan polish just to put down a square of colors and then I'm going to dot in some of the other colors tan and red looks good together and then I'm going to apply some of the homemade cell forming top coat stuff that I've made and then I'm adding more of the other color the tan I don't know the names of these that I used and I'm doing this all on my little mat so that I can squish it I'm gonna try a couple of different ways of playing with it there goes some more of the homemade spot it or transforming top coat whatever you want to call it I'm gonna mush it and then turn the mat and mush it again and there we go. It is definitely making some cells. I am going to be playing with this a lot more um, and actually do manicures with some of the cells I make. Some of the decals. So I'm going to give this another go. I'm using that same tan and drawing kind of like straight lines of it, of the red across it. And then add some more of the tan. And here we go with some of the Spot It that we have made. I'm just going to call it Spot It because it's just easier for me to remember or the transforming top coat. And I mushed it down with my stamper a little bit and there are the cells that it made. See, you can see them a little bit. I think decal method seems to be working best with this. But I love that you can do it with clear. That way you can do cell forming um, type things with you know all all of your colors you don't have to just stick to you know the few colors that we can find out there by dance legend or even the old simple colors transforming top coats that just came in five colors so I'm just kind of dabbing out some different colors I've kind of got like a fuchsia and a purple and an orange here getting a little crazy with the colors and lobbing them all on top of each other just going a little wild with it. Let's see, some more orange. And these are, you know, <clears throat> I like personally like making decals when I'm doing this. I don't like doing the swipes on the nails. I haven't had much luck with that. So making decals works for me. I've added some more of the Spot It and I'm mushing the mat like I've done before and let's see what we get. I love that you get the fluid look to it and then you also get those cells. So there we go with that one. I think I'm going to do one more and I've got this white and I'm trying to apply it rather thickly and I'm going to go in with some dots. I really do like the way the blue and the white look together. You know it's summer so you know that kind of looks crisp and cool to me. And I decided to go ahead and add some yellow, some mellow yellow looking color. But like I said, I will definitely be playing with this a little bit more. Um, I don't know that my ratio for the oil going into the clear polish is dead on yet. But, you know, we'll play with it and we'll see what we come up with. So I've added the spot it to it. Now I'm going to do the little pinch and then pinch it again. And it's, I'm not seeing what I really want to see just yet. Got some spots forming. Some of them are doing. So I think I'm going to pinch it again. Why not? Oh, well, then I've made an empty spot, so I'm going to pinch it again. But what I love about this is it's just, it, it makes such an unusual look on the nail. It's so cool. And there's a picture of that one. So let me know what you think about this down below. I would love to hear from you. 
I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself.